Kristen here and I'm here again with one of my TN shorts and this time I'm using a different cover. Did you see? Yes, yes, I have Jane Davenport stuff. I know. The YouTube world went insane over these products. I have never seen such an explosion and I, and I got sucked into it and obsessed with it and oh and I got my hands on the stuff and I can now understand why people are so obsessed with it her paints these mermaid markers are just so much fun and the colors are gorgeous now the book is a homemade one I just took some watercolor paper bound it together and then used for the cover is actually a sheet of paper designed by Suze Fish for Felicity Jane it was from July last year I love the paper and knew I wanted to use it as a cover and the only downside is because I'm getting so wet and metery in this thing the colors are seeping onto the cover but that's okay that's part of the charm I am being very free-spirited these days oh yes <laughs> and I will say that all of my watercolor skills as basic as they are have been learnt from Irit Langraf she is my very good friend and yeah I can't thank her enough because I am having a lot of fun and I do believe I do believe she has announced that she has a class coming up which is all about watercolors watercolor basics so yeah check it out seriously if I can start to do this kind of thing anybody can I am I am the best case person to to test things on because yeah I'm not good <laughs> but look at that doesn't it look really pretty I mean you actually can't go wrong with well that was fast you can't go wrong with this kind of background you just put it on drip it on shake it around a bit close the book and yeah really pretty so I was I was seriously chuffed with myself with this one and yeah it's just a case of adding a little bit more color being happy with what I've got obviously I'm not because I keep adding more and I was I was enjoying the um, splodging it onto the onto the drips on the uh, plastic piece of paper I had there and now I'm going to be using the Maggie Holmes bloom collection because I just felt the colors just go so well in fact most of the pages that I make in this and it's a very small book because watercolor paper is really thick I think all the pages in here will probably just have her collection in it and it's just I just love the idea of writing I don't know even even writing fairy tale type stories in here you know little short fairy tales I think I might do that yeah or maybe based on my life you never know but uh, I do like the idea because it's so pretty and oh, it's got an ethere ooh, ethereal what the heck is that an ethereal feel about it it just I think it lends itself to that kind of that kind of writing and why not be creative with one's writing one doesn't always have to write you know what happened in the day and all the serious stuff we could just go into a fantasy land hmm. I like that idea I really do I think I might do it so now I'm just trying to see if I can put anything else on here I don't I don't know ah oh, yes a butterfly I don't know if I put much more on actually oh a heart well I've got to have a hearts on there but uh, yeah I can't remember <laughs> Ah, oh, I did. Okay, I did put a little bit more on. And it's what I like about this is that you take stuff in your stash and you use it and you're not scared to use it because it's not a... This isn't something which is going to, you know, go up in the wall and be admired by all and, you know, stand the test of time. It's more a case of free play and using stuff and making it pretty and yeah I think I just can't express enough how much I'm enjoying myself so there we go thanks for watching bye bye